Okay, so I had a funny story. So last night, um, one of the people that, you know, out of the small group of people that I'm really frustrated with um, romantically, uh, came over. It's kind of like a last chance thing. I didn't, I didn't tell him like, if you don't come over, this is the last chance. But, you know, when I see when I meet somebody or I, you know, kind of like somebody, I want to hang out with them. Um, kind of often or as back to back as possible as our schedules will allow so that I can actually figure out if there's somebody that I actually want to give a fuck about. So, uh, this guy, you know, he kind of gave me the runaround a little bit and was a source of a little bit of frustration. So he comes over last night and, um, he proceeds to talk about conspiracy theories and I'm just like, look buddy, I'm not into conspiracy theories. I'm okay with talking about stuff and like I just I'm just not into conspiracy theories. You know, and he kind of gave me some of this like flack like, "Oh, you know, okay, I'm sorry, you know, there's I really don't have anyone that I can talk to about these important things and it's just it's hard to find people that care enough." Like kind of that whole like yanking your chain isn't the right phrase, but just kind of making me feel stupid and just uh, superficial for not wanting to entertain conspiracy theories after, you know, the day I had and just not being in that frame of mind. So I was just like, ah, oh, whatever, you know, if this, if this is where we part, this is where we part. But so, you know, but the point of the conspiracy theory thing is that he's very passionate about the concept of you know, being active, being an activist, and just, I don't know, just all this, all this stuff, like making, you know, you do your part, and blah, 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 and be educated, be educated, okay, okay, so that'll be relevant in a minute, so then we start talking about other stuff, and I've already gotten the impression by this point, between his anger, like, obvious anger issues, and just this conspiracy theory stuff, and, you know, it's not the fact that he's an activist, it's the way that he's conducting himself, to be clear. So we start talking and I just mentioned something about, because it's obvious that he's angry and I'm bringing up, I'm like, dude, you're fucking angry. Like maybe if you, you know, if you're against medication, that's fine. Lots of people are, you know, you smoke weed, so smoke some more weed, maybe avoid some triggers. Like what are your triggers? Obviously one of your triggers is fucking political issues. You're not going to be able to solve the issue. So what are you doing getting so worked up over it? Like, you know, and, and if, and if you're going to think about these things, why are you seeking out more new things? Like the government fucks us. Everyone fucks us. We're all fucked. We're fucked. But the more that you dwell on that, the more that it's just going to keep you in this spiral of just anger and depression and just helplessness. Um, so we're going back and forth and I mentioned something about, well, I mean, do you want to have kids? And he's like, no, I don't want to have kids. And he's like, oh, I have, you know... I have some stuff I don't want to pass on, and then I didn't ask what, you know, because I was like, all right, whatever, you know, that's a valid reason. Then he says, like, yeah, I've got, like, I've got a virus, you know. I was like, oh, okay, what is it? And he's like, oh, it's HPV, and I said, okay, well, HPV isn't genetically passed. It's not, like, hereditary. It's not, like, the mom, if the mom has it, you know, and it becomes, you know, warts or something more of a physical manifestation or if it's one of the specific strain yeah okay you know uh tried not to go into like incredible nurse mode there like tried to just stay casual but then he was saying like yeah I don't want to pass that to my kids and this is terrible and blah 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 and then he starts saying other things that are completely untrue about HPV it's like well I, I don't want to be weird here but can I take you can I take a moment to educate you on what it is that you actually have because according to him, the doctors aren't helping him. And he keeps saying HPV. And then he says, I said, well, I mean, you'll find somebody, you know. Not, a lot, not everybody cares about HPV. If it's one of the strains, it doesn't turn into cervical cancer. And he's like, well, but, you know, it looks bad. And I'm like, well, what do you mean it looks bad? So it turns out he's got warts, which, like, warts... Are, come from HPV. It's kind of like if you've got HIV, then you've got AIDS. If you have AIDS, you don't really say, I've got HIV. You say, I've got AIDS. So with warts, like, you've got warts. Venereal, you know, like, that's what you have. You don't have the precursor. I mean, you do, but you, I, I don't know how to say that any other different way, but so I'm like, okay, you've got warts. Well, 
Then it comes out that he has no interest in um, getting treatment because it's a penance that he's paying for not having been safe to begin with, and basically he deserves this. And then it all comes out that basically, you know, in order for him to find somebody, he needs to get this taken care of, but he doesn't want to. But it's just this whole fucking clusterfuck. And I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, self, you know how you were getting all antsy and just irritated over the fact that stuff wasn't kind of coming along as quickly as you wanted it to? And I don't mean coming in a sexual way, just to be clear. You know... There are many reasons at any given time why something doesn't snap together. You know, uh, I don't know the reasons for the other people that are frustrating me. Well, actually, I kind of have a feeling about the other people. But, you know, but like this guy, you know, like I would always look at, you know, what it is I'm going to have sex with. So, you know, something, someone with warts, that wouldn't have been like an issue that would have gotten past me. But it's just the concept of like being so upset or just that, you know, yesterday, you know, being so upset over this whole concept of just all these things being clusterfucked. And then to find out today, oh, I guess it was yesterday. I'm fucking lost. Anyhow, but th th the point is, you know, just to find out basically that the whole, like, it wouldn't have mattered anyhow, you know, because this guy's got warts. I don't want warts. It's like end of story. But then the other thing that just kind of boggled my mind is the fact that somebody who is so politi you know, politically active in things and is so taking to heart all these ways that people are just like fucking themselves and just fucking the earth and fucking this and fucking that. I'm like you can't even actually take care of yourself. You can't even identify a problem appropriately because with how much research he's done on like these trash islands in the middle of the fucking ocean and... 9-11, you know, truth, truthers or whatever, and the four core reactors that are, you know, went down in Japan or Asia, like, with all the effort he's putting into that, he's walking around with something on his body that he is not educated about. That's such a disconnect, it doesn't make sense to me, and maybe it's just because of the way I think, like, and that's kind of a major reason why I personally haven't gotten into a lot of the political arena stuff, is because I need to take care of myself, I'm 33 years old, and I'm sorry to say that I still don't fucking know myself well enough to step outside, you know, I mean, my local community, I, I, would, I help, and I, I volunteer, and that's great, but, you know, I don't have it in me to keep myself in check and keep myself spiritually, you know, at a baseline and then go out and just get upset about all these things that I can't do a goddamn thing about. But I just can't handle that somebody is walking around with an STI and he's not even trying to have sex, so it's not even about, like, him spreading it, but somebody who professes the concept of researching and being knowledgeable and being active and changing things that you have control over... He's not even doing anything about the thing that's in his pants. And that just threw me for a loop. And I'm not applying this broadly across the board because everybody's got their own different things going on. And But that was just a really weird experience last night. And it was actually kind of draining. I don't know, man. But uh, I just thought I would share that update. A little update-y-do. You know, it's all. All right. Thank you.